How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are dyno testing one of our 383 Extreme small block Chevys. Okay, this engine is our 383. It's a 450 horsepower engine and it was optioned with Holly Sniper EFI as well as the HyperSpark ignition system. The HyperSpark ignition system is really cool because it's a set it and forget it type distributor. Basically, you install it in the engine, you set it to the timing that it tells you to set it at, and then you're done. You can then on the handheld program whatever timing you want from inside the car or engine room in our example. So I've already set my static timing so that the distributor and the Holly and the engine, all three people know where the timing is. And from there, you can set your adjustable rev limiter, your total timing, your initial timing, your cruise timing to put a little bit of advance in it to help us get a little better um, fuel efficiency. Because this engine is EFI, I have already loaded the tune-up that we run with these engines. So now I'm gonna fill it full of water, make sure everything is 100% ready to start, and we'll fire it up. I'm going to let the engine warm up the rest of the way from here and then we'll come back to it and start to check the tune up and make sure everything is super nice and healthy. All right, now that the engine is fully warmed up, we can start to break it in and start to make some horsepower. So everything looks really good with the first pool. I accidentally hit the rev limiter a little bit on the high end, so I'm gonna bump it up just a hair. Currently the motor's making 441 horsepower and about 473 foot-pounds of torque on its first hit. Here's a dynograph for you guys to see. And what's really nice about this engine is just how smooth the torque curve is. All the way down from 25, 2600 RPM up to 6,000 RPM, the torque curve is just perfect for this RPM range. So I'm gonna fix the rev limiter and um, we'll do our second pull.
I went ahead and did two more pulls. So let me, this is the third pull, and you can see now we're making 456 horsepower and 480 foot-pounds of torque. And let me overlay the first one. All right, so the black curve is our third pull. The blue curve is our first pull. So you can see with no changes to the tune and no changes to the timing, the engine is picking up power at higher RPM. And again, this is because the piston rings are breaking in, everything's setting up, the oil's getting a little warmer, and yeah, everything's looking super good. We always do a minimum of at least five pulls per engine on the dyno. So I've got two more to go on this guy, and then it's going to be finished. Okay, after the fifth pull, this engine is making a ton of power. The torque curve looks really nice. 460 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. And again, the torque curve, super broad and linear. This is a great little street engine and has plenty of vacuum for power brakes, great drivability. Now that I'm done running it, testing it, and tuning it on the dyno, we're gonna do a full inspection, make sure there's absolutely no oil leaks. And as long as it passes that test, it'll go in a shipping crate where we're gonna install the valve covers, detail it, make it look nice and pretty. I'll see y'all in just a second. Okay, we are back. For you guys, that was two seconds for us. It was actually a few hours, but anyways, here's the motor all finished up with the new valve covers on it, looking really nice. And yep, this motor is now ready to go to its new home. Really, really nice. Such a simple little street motor that is just going to be totally awesome in a hot rod or classic car. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you all next time.